Hi, and welcome to Off the Cuff Upcycling, where I do things, well, off the cuff, using things I can find around the house or from thrift stores or other things we collect for recycling so they don't end up in a landfill. We do our videos in the beautiful province of Prince Edward Island, Canada. Upcycling isn't new. It's been going on for centuries, but with the ecosystem in danger, it's making a grand comeback and it makes sense. I want to make my own trends and reduce carbon footprints by using things that are already in existence. If you upcycle, remember you were made to stand out. I also like to follow the KISS principle. Keep it super simple. I'm not an expert sewer, but I have done some projects over the years. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a lacy curtain together with a too short t-shirt and add some pizzazz to the shirt which I loved and found at Walmart and I just found it too short for what I wanted to wear. I love this style of shirt and I got it on sale at Walmart but found it too short for my taste. If you're under 30 you might not get that part but I do. The lace curtain was just a curtain we had in the kitchen. Um, when upcycling, if you can use the natural parts of the item, it does reduce work. So, for instance, I use the holes as folding and pinning guide, hiding one hole on top with a fold and leaving the other open. You can use this as a guide for making even folds around the whole perimeter. Use the original sewing as the pinning and sewing edge. Pin the wrong sides together. So, you just take it and use the the sewing as your guide for where to pin and you just pin it up and this will make your sewing a lot easier to do because it will be evenly across the whole thing. Now your other uh, pin carefully, then you can sew. You can do the way I did or you could even pin the lace on the top of the front and use the curtain rod holes to put ribbon through to jazz it up more. You have a choice if you want to sew by hand or sew by machine. Machine of course will be a lot faster. If you want to sew by hand then you can actually use the hem sewing as your guide where to sew. Um, if you're using glue you already know how to use it. You don't know, need me to tell you how to use it. Get it all pinned around the, the whole shirt evenly, and then you're ready to sew. Okay, so when sewing, just use the seam that's already there as your guide for sewing. And when you're done, you can either let the lace fall naturally or you can baste it, which is what I'll probably do. Just sew all the way around the lace using the, the seam as your guide for where to sew. When you're done, you can let the lace fall down naturally, but you can also hand stitch around just to make sure that the lace falls in the direction you want and it will cover up a multitude of sins, like I had some areas that didn't go together well. So um, if you, I'm going to hand baste the rest and then, you know, you can embellish it, put lace, put flowers, paint, whatever you want to, if you want to have it more fancy. I just wanted the nice little lace curtain on the bottom uh, to fancy it up. Okay, so to finish off, I was just going to do some hand basting. Put the thread through, or needle through the back end, and then you can use the, the seam that's already there to do the basting. And just, once you've got it started, you can go like in through the, the uh, sewing and then you can just use the existing seam to sew to base the, the, the seams. And then once you're done basting you can either finish off the side or add some extra stuff 
whatever you like. And this is the finished product. This will go well with leggings, jeggings, or even a pencil skirt, or anything else you might like to wear, skinny jeans, something like that. Thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.